Hello Super Lightnings, this is your champion Tanner Parker back again for a new video on the Champion Racer Collection channel. Today on the channel, as you saw by the thumbnail and the title, we're going to be doing a review. But not just any review, a MADER review. And by just looking at the screen, you guys can figure out which character are we doing. Mater! But which Mater are we doing? It is interesting. The Mater that is in this bag is actually not from the blind bags. It's actually from the three packs. Which later down the road got released as a single. Both internationally and in the blind boxes. But if you guys saw the thumbnail, of course you guys know which Mater am I talking about. But just let's just take the moment to appreciate the bag because now mini race because now Mattel doesn't do the mini racers in the bags anymore. And that kind of leaves me a little bit disappointed and sad. So let's just take the time to appreciate the bag. So on the bag there's the mini racers logo, the Disney Pixar Cars logo, the Meadow logo, and there's a bunch of minis on the bag, which includes Metallic Ramon, Bob Bobby Swift, Sally. Cruz Ramirez, Metallic Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Daniel Swervis, Silver Tim Treadless, The King, Dr. Damage, Brand New Mater, Leroy Hemming, Fillmore, Metallic Fabulous Hudson Hornet, Natalie Certain, APB, and The Golden Lightning McQueen. This is from Wave 5 because the new minis of this wave are Sally, Bobby Swift, Silver Tim Treadless, Fillmore, Leroy Hemming, Made brand new Mater and Golden McQueen. Out of the ones in the bag, I have Sally, I mean Sally, Cruz, Bobby, the King, and brand new Mater. As you can see, I have brand new Mater here. But I really, but there's a mini that actually is interesting. Chick Hicks. You guys might see this is the regular Chick Hicks, but it isn't because in late, because in mid twenty. Mid-2019, there was supposed to be a Metallic Chick Hicks Mini Racer. I don't know what's supposed to be re released as a blind bag, in a 3-pack, a 10-pack, uh, or a multi-pack. But which bag did I use to place the Mini in? 34. Enough any more rambling, let's get to unboxing, or unbagging. Which Mater am I talking about? Yes, Tokyo Mater. I have four Mini Racer Maters now. Tokyo Mater, Brand New Mater, Regular Mater, and Racing Red Mater. My Mater collection has really grown over the years. In 2020, I got only the Brand New Mater. Early 2022, I got the Racing Red Mater. Mid-2022, I got the Regular Mater. And now, I got the Tokyo Mater. Any more chit chat? Let's get to reviewing Tokyo Mater. I'm gonna move the lamp a little closer so that we can take a good focus on the vehicle. So, on the front, there's his nice determined expression with his buck teeth showing, his headlights, his front splitter. On the right side, there's some Japanese wording. There are some sponsors on his windows. Let's see if I can know which ones are they. I cannot tell. The the one in the top, the top logo, it kind of reminds me of the Disney Docket logo. And one thing. Uh, I kind of forgot what it was. Um, oh yeah, I was going to say. If you guys know what it's... What are those logos on Mater's window? Let me know on the comments because I do not know what are those logos. The rims are gray, but on the die cast, the rims are silver. On the back, there's his exhaust pipes, his tail lights, and his tow hook. Same thing on the other side, but flipped. He has his headlights, his hood is there, he has Oh wait, he has mirrors. He's is down here. These are the mirrors. On the on the top, there's nothing, and he has a large spoiler 
which I feel like is made out of carbon fiber. But that was basically it for the Tokyo Mater review. Now let's move on to the comparisons, starting with the closest, brand new Mater. The reason why I say that the brand new Mater is the closest is because, not counting the Racing Red Mater, brand new Mater is the closest thing I have to a Tokyo Mater. They're both blue Maters, they both got the headlights, and they both got the hoods. It's just that Tokyo Mater has a different expression. I think he also has a different mode. Yes, he does. The copyright is 2020. And he also has a little spoiler. But the brand new Mater doesn't. Next one up, Racing Red Mater. Probably my favorite mini racer Mater so far. I don't think any Mater can top this one because this one is really beautiful. I think it's almost as beautiful as the Mini Racer uh, Golden Jackson Star. But there isn't, there isn't much similarity between the Racing Red and the Tokyo Mini. The only thing I can know that they have similarity in is that they both have hoods and headlights. Next one up is just a regular Mini that you guys may know from the Mini Racer line. Of course you guys know it because he was in the very first wave of the mini races back in 2017. Dang, it's past five years. There's not really much similarity. The only thing that I know is just both of them are maters and they both got tow hooks. But there isn't much similarities. None of them. Um, the uh, regular mater does not have his light blue paint. He does not have the two headlights. He only has one. He does not does not have his hood slash front bonnet. Um, he does not have a spoiler, of course, because it's just generic Mater. And the front splitter on the Tokyo Mater is actually bigger than the other Maters. Now, the other Maters I'm going to be comparing to is just 155 scale diecast. We'll start the one that's probably the least comparable. Race Team Mater. Of course. Now there were very far from similarities because none of those two have any similarities. Next one up is just the regular Mater, but this one I brought the Mid in Thailand one. There's not really much similarity. The only thing that I know that they both have in common is that they're both made in Thailand. And the last one it is brand new Mater. And one thing I and one thing I can tell is that the brand new Mater shade of blue it's a lot more accurate. On this one, the blue off camera it looks green, but on this one it's a lighter blue, kind of like the Tokyo Mater. You have her seer saying on that. But do you guys agree or you guys don't agree that the regular diecast brand new mater color is different? But that was basically it for the review of the Mini Racers Tokyo Mater. Man, this review is quite short. The review is short, yes, but the video is long. But anyway, oh shoot. Thank you so much for watching Champion Racer Collection saying goodbye and good luck.